folks. Today we're here to talk about current draw. One of the most commonly asked questions that we get is, how do I meter for current draw? Or I should say one of the most commonly asked questions we should get. This is one of the most ambiguous topics that I've found in basic electronics when talking with installers from all over the country. There's a lot of folks that don't understand how to meter current draw, but today we're gonna to show you how to do that the proper way. So you will see on the bench here in front of me, I have a new CMX brain along with a Blade AL. I have my multimeter set up and the unit itself is grounded. So I have ground connected to the ground wire of the unit itself. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm gonna meter just the brain alone and then I'm going to go ahead and slide that blade in there and we're going to take a meter reading for the blade and the brain. So you'll notice where I have my leads is different than where I would have my leads if I was metering for DC or AC voltage. You're going to move the positive lead or the, the red lead to where it says A, or you can see an, an MA or a micro amp reading on your meter as well. So if you're metering for current draw when it, and it's going to be more than one amp of current, you're going to set your red probe into the A section. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to make the current flow through the meters. So that basically means that you're going to have current flowing into one lead and out of the other lead. And that's how the meter can capture that current draw through the meter. So when you do this, you'll need to set your meter for, again, A is for amps, MA is for milliamps, and then you have a mu A, which is for microamps. So typically what you're gonna to wanna to do is just set it for the amp setting. This meter and all meters, you would hope, um, are fused internally. So this is protecting the circuit because if you draw too much power through the meter, through these leads, it could have the potential to melt those because you don't wanna draw more than, typically they're limited to 10 amps of current draw. So when metering for current draw, one thing to make note of is that you don't wanna meter the current draw for the entire vehicle. If you turn the ignition on while you have your battery disconnected and your, your meter connected between the positive terminal or the negative terminal and the battery, you will typically blow the fuse inside the meter. This is not meant for high current, current draw metering. This is meant for less than 10 amps. So onward and upward, basically what we're going to do, we've got ground, grounding the, the brain. We've got our leads, one of them connected to the 12 volt input of the brain the other one connected to the 12 volt output from our vehicle. In this case, again, I've got a power supply under the bench providing us with 12 volts to this brain. So you'll notice that it, I've got the red connected to the red and the black connected to the input. So this is the output, the input. It doesn't matter. You can take these and reverse them. So if I were to take this and reverse, you're going to get the same reading. The meter at this point is just measuring the flow of electrons through the meter to tell you how much current is passing through the meter. So you'll notice on the meter we have five milliamps of current draw for just the CMX brain. Very, very low current draw. We had a lot of uh, upgrades and a lot of design improvements to get the current draw of the, the brain itself down significantly from prior versions. Now, when we go ahead and slide the blade AL into the brain, you'll see the current draw will jump significantly. Now, make note that this blade is not flashed. I took this directly out of the box, did not flash firmware to it. So this is going to be, you'll see it's flashing red, telling us that it is not flashed with firmware. So you'll see now that you have a meter reading of 40 milliamps, which is within spec if you're not flashed with firmware and we're just doing some bench testing. So hopefully this helps with understanding how to meter for current draw. Just one other thing real quick. The other thing you can do is if this is in a vehicle stitch situation, you can remove the fuses from the fuse holder. So for example, if you were to pull these fuses out of the fuse holders and then you put one probe on one side of the fuse holder, the other probe on the other side of the fuse holder. Now, obviously the current coming from the vehicle is coming in the one side of the fuse holder and the current going to the brain is going out the other side of the fuse or into the brain out the other side of the fuse holder. So this will allow you to pass current through the meter very simply by removing the fuses and inserting your probes on either side of this fuse holder. It makes a quick and easy way to meter current draw in the vehicle without disconnecting any wires. Hopefully that helps. 
Have a great day.